So today I want to show you how to make a traditional Ayurvedic healing soup. Traditional Ayurvedic healing soup, well what's that? Well it's very simple, this soup is meant to clear your body, it's meant to clean it of toxins and just detox your system. In traditional Ayurvedic culture you're supposed to eat the soup at least one week or you can also have it for many months. Like I said it's a healing soup, it is primarily made for healing diseases, but I think anyone who is healthy and wants to be even healthier and wants to just improve the way that one is, I think it can just help you to achieve that goal and enrich your life and your diet. So this soup is mainly made of mung beans and a variety of Indian spices. And in the following video I want to show you how to make that soup and I hope that you will enjoy this video. So let's see what we need for the soup. First of all I have whole cumin seeds and also ground cumin seeds. Next to that we have cilantro turmeric, ginger, and asafetida, a pretty special Indian spice. I will write down below the exact measures and also what the names are, like for instance the asafetida. Besides of that we have here the mung beans themselves, so you see it's quite a lot and it's the, the basic ingredient, the main ingredient. And also we use some coconut oil. Here I have about like two or three tablespoons of coconut oil. It's supposed to use like six but I like to keep it low fat so therefore I use a little less. Okay now comes the actual cooking part. Now I'm starting to melt the coconut oil here and as soon as that is done, I will lower the heat. I will start off at a very low heat because it's very easy to burn the spices. So I recommend to have a very low heat and always observe as I said. So now I put it like on lower to medium heat. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the herbs the spices, um, so in which order you do it doesn't really matter. It's just, like I said before, very important to stir pretty much all the time so that your herbs don't get burned. This is, by the way, a common procedure in Indian Ayurvedic kitchen that you start by um, frying the herbs and that you first later put in the other ingredients. So, alright. So now I have all the herbs here in the soup, the spices in the soup. So now I'm gonna fry that for a little while, maybe maybe half a minute, um, on a very low heat. Once again, I have to say it because I have burned it myself, and I know how annoying that is, and to start over. So, but this is not happening to you. Yeah. Okay. So that should be enough. Now, when you lightly fry the herbs, you put in the water. We need about three liters of water so we can put that in right away. It 
So this seems now first like a lot of water, but as you might be able to imagine, the the beans will like suck all the all the water up. So it's it's necessary to have that much water. Okay, so right after water, you see I put in the beans, and yeah, now. Now is the time to wait. You should, like with any soup, you should stir once in a while, but now this cooking process should take about one and a half or rather two hours. So as you see now, after like almost two hours, the soup is finished. Now in traditional Ayurvedic, cooking this soup is to be eaten without salt so actually it's not very stimulating <coughs> compared to other like say normal foods as we know them but if you want you can of course add some salt <coughs> and eat that soup also with salt so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I wish you lots of fun recooking this recipe.